Dun 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 It is a bittersweet ending. Here it is, everyone. I got it. Um, the Hobbit. Uh, the Battle of Five Armies on DVD. Uh, I'm sh I, I will get it on Blu-ray someday. Uh, if, they, if they release it, if there is a extended edition, which I'm pretty sure there is, I'm pretty sure it'll release a, uh, a three-pack set just like this one. Lord of the Rings extended editions. I hope they're doing it for The Hobbit. Okay? If they don't do it, um... I don't know, man. <laughs> something, something weird is going on. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> I got the two-disc special edition DVD, which ha which is what I've been been getting, okay, until the extended Blu-rays come out. I like how it all lines up. If you have this version of Lord of the Rings, uh, you lay right next to, to get next to each other, and look at that. It all lines up, you know. Very nice. Of course, you got all the Blu-rays. They line up too. Okay, so. Whatever. Um, so we're going to do an unboxing of the new DVD, of course. Uh, before we do that, let's go ahead and look at what everything else I got. So over here, we got the other Hobbit movies. Two disc special edition of Desolation of Smog, the second one. Unexpected Journey right there. Okay, so those are the two disc special edition DVDs. Uh, I do have Blu-rays for the first movie anyway kind of cheap right about now. So this is the Best Buy exclusive with the, uh, see that? Lenticular cover has Gollum and Bilbo. Inside you just see Bilbo, okay? Um, here's the same thing, but with the normal cover, okay? And we got the 3D Blu-ray. Oh no, a little poster fell over. Um, I personally really like this cover because it kind of gives off a kind of final send-off, you know, kind of like a, a, a final bow, a final bow, kind of like a goodbye sort of thing. It is the final movie in the series of this trilogy anyway. Uh, the DVDs, uh, uh, not the DVDs, the Blu-rays have a different cover than this, uh, but I personally really like this cover more. Like, uh, that was like, a, uh, they big promotions and stuff like that. They've always used this poster. Um, here I have a poster for the Shadow of Mordor video game. Okay, let me open it up real quick. You see it there? The Shadow of Mordor video game. Uh, I will play it very, very soon, uh, as a matter of fact. I actually already have it. Uh, uh, already bought it, okay, and I will uh, play on Twitch for you guys. Here we got little figurines. From, uh, what is it, McDonald's? Burger King? I don't, I don't remember, but, uh, so you got Mary Pippin right here, okay? So let me set these back up, and then we'll talk more. Um, over here, we got, for PlayStation Vita, the Lego Lord of Rings and the Lego The Hobbit video games. Okay, specifically for PlayStation Vita. So, uh, yeah. Nothing, nothing too impressive there. Um, it's the same version for the 3DS, by the way. Over here at Lord of the Rings stuff. Um, we got the extended Blu-rays, of course. Okay. Uh, there's YouTube videos already talked about this. This uh, Tolkien book right here about his, uh, about his life and stuff like that. We got the Hobbit, Hobbit bo uh, the book. Silmarillion, which I have to, I've actually started reading. Like there's there's why I am, you know. I never really read it before until now. We got the Lord of Rings, okay. Of Rings, uh, Two Towers, Return of the King, novels right there, okay. Uh, we just saw this. It's the three film collection. It's just the regular theatrical versions of the movies. Okay, I had this up in my dorm when I was up there. 
Um, let's see what else. We got the original widescreen DVDs. Okay, everyone's everyone has seen those before. Um, the animated classic. There's there's also the one for Hobbit and the Return of King, but uh, I don't have it with me. And we got Ringers, Lord of the Fans, um, with the guy who played Mary in the as narrator. Okay. So let's go ahead and unbox the new DVD that I just bought. Uh, if you watch my Sunday vlogs on my YouTube channel, you probably already know my, uh, my uh, review of the movie. Let's go ahead and open this up. So there's the slip cover. It's kind of have a shiny, shiny finish on it. Uh, let's see, special features. If you're curious, you can just pause and read all that. It's kind of blurry though. Hello? Okay. There it is. So you can pause and read all that. I'm not going to go through all of it. Let's take a look at the disc. I want to know what the disc looks like. There's my digital copy code. Just plain black disc. Special features right there. Say so, yeah, nothing too impressive. I doubt the Blu-ray is, you know, has. Oh my gosh, uh, it has Gandalf on the first disc, Bilbo on the second disc, you know. And look at this. It has a, a huge booklet inside with a complete scene selection, stuff like that. And look, special features, interactive menus, you know, and more, you know. Um, over the years, the DVDs and Blu-rays just kind of. They just release it now, man. They don't make it cool like it used to be. So there it is. Uh, that's all I have to gotta say. Hope you enjoyed this video. Not much to say besides that. Here's my Lord of the Rings collection. Check it out, okay? And if you haven't seen these movies yet, uh, I highly recommend them. They're very... They got... Uh, they got those teary moments, you know? Lots of drama, action, good acting too. Uh, Peter Jackson is a wonderful director when it comes to these movies. So yeah, go ahead and check them out. And uh, everyone else, rate, favorite, subscribe, comment. Who is your favorite Lord of the Rings character? Comment below and let me know. So thank you for watching. Talk guys later. Bye.